Hey guys, I'm going to be talking today about concealed weapons on campuses. Obviously, as high school students, you guys are probably going to be attending college here after just a few short years. Well, being on a college campus, that has to deal with your safety. But how much do you value your safety? Anyone could walk onto a campus with a gun, but how are you going to defend yourself? Are you going to be able to hold up to someone with a gun with just your fist or a knife? What are you going to be able to do? Um, as of right now, currently on college campuses in Colorado, it is legal to carry a concealed weapon. But some people want that to change. It's your right as a citizen, you know, it's your safety. You have a right to self-defense. As of right now, you know, anyone could go on if they have a permit, and to get a permit, you have to go through the state, you have to go through background checks and everything else, you have to go through training, and that's how you get your concealed weapon. Once you're able to get your concealed weapon, you can carry it on a campus. Anyone's able to do it, but you have to go through all this training. But what if they didn't have that? What do you guys think? Do you guys think that people should be allowed to carry concealed weapons on campus? Do you think they shouldn't? Well, what do you think? Um, as of right now, most of you guys know, a few months back, or a few years back, I should say, there was a shooting at Virginia Tech. Many people died, more people were injured. But, you know, what could have prevented this? Do you think people carrying guns, you know, citizens like you guys, Carrying guns on campus could have prevented this. You guys think you could have stopped it? You guys think you could have lessened the toll that it took on everyone? Um, before we make a choice, let's look at both sides. One side for allowing concealed weapons on, or for not allowing concealed weapons on campus. Well, hey, guess what? They think that you could have an accidental discharge. You could be sitting there, you could be carrying it in your holster, and next thing you know, it goes off. But what happens then if it hurts someone? Whose fault is it? Who's, a, who's in the wrong? Um, it also puts everyone else in danger because, hey, you know, I mean, there's scuffles between people all the time. But what happens if people don't want to solve it with their fists? Think they get too mad. They want to solve it with a gun instead. Well, then what happens? There's a statistic out there that says that people that uh, carry a concealed weapon, they become in, go into a uh, criminal activity, they're 4.5 times more likely to be shot or injured in this scuffle. Um, also, it says that, you know, I mean, there's angry people in the world. Everyone knows that. And if they have access to guns, then hey, guess what? They can do it. You know, if they have a concealed weapon on them and they get angry, well, they can use it at any time, you know, just because they have a weapon with them. Um, it also increases the lethality of a confrontation. So, like I said, if you're just sitting there and next thing you know, you get in an argument and someone can pull out a gun on you and you can be shot. On the other side, allowing uh, concealed weapons could greatly reduce this crime. 56% uh, of people say that they wouldn't even attack someone if they knew that they were carrying a concealed weapon. Here's a crime rate graph um, for CSU. This is before they allowed concealed carry weapons. This is crime all the time. You know, I mean, this is all the amount of crime that's going on. This is when they finally started allowing concealed weapons on campus. And as you can know, as you can see, it drops greatly. Um, by not allowing concealed weapons on campus, they're denying your right to self-defense. They're denying your right to safety. And, you know, it also just attracts criminals. You know, would you want to go onto a campus where everyone's allowed to carry guns, or would you want to go onto a campus where no one has any weapons at all? I mean, what do you think? Also, people that say that, hey, guess what, you know, there could be these accidents that happen and all this. Well, these people go through background checks, they go through training, and they know exactly what's going on with their weapon. They have to, because that's how you get a concealed uh, carry weapon permit. Um, allowing concealed weapons on campus could be a very big problem. But at the same time, I mean, this could be the bigger solution. What do you guys think? You could, you could sit there and go through all these accidents, or you could just allow people to carry guns, be trained, have their permits. You know, they're all law-abiding citizens, obviously, because of all their background checks. And guess what? It could make the whole environment safe just because of a few people carrying their concealed weapons. But what do you guys think? Should we allow them? Should we not allow them? I don't know. How much do you guys value your safety? What do you guys think? The choice is yours. Are there any questions? Awesome. Thank you guys very much.